Got some really crappy weather for a really nice trailer today. This is a 2106 FBS Winnebago Micro Mini here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. One of our very best selling Winnebagos. Um, I'm going to cover a lot of things. What I'm going to try to cover in this video are the areas where this is kind of unique and outstanding and not the areas where it just does the same thing as everything else. I'm not going to talk about a fridge and a toilet because, yeah, no kidding, it has a fridge and a toilet. I'm going to tell you about the things maybe under the skin that you can't see that uh, not every brand necessarily does. Maybe some, but not all. If uh, you like what you see, you want to learn more, I leave you folks on YouTube a link in the video description down there that says check for price and availability. One click away from seeing what we have in stock. How is it equipped? Because especially cosmetically, the way this camper looks could be very different from the one we have in stock. Um, case in point, this has that beautiful uh, high gloss exterior. This is a true T60 gel coat. Diesel pusher skin on a, uh, a narrow body, highly ultralight camper. 3,700 pound trailer. There's just nothing else using this level of skin. This is two grades above anything else out there. Even on a, just a crappy day, and this thing's caked in shipping gr uh, grime. I haven't even had a chance to clean it off yet. You can see it's still got that mirror-like finish on there. Um, it's got more reflectivity, so it has superior weather resistance. It looks amazing. Um, it, it's just going to do a better job long term. Um, and that's the idea behind this. They are living up to the name. This is not a Winnebago in name alone. It's a Winnebago in heart, body, and soul. It is the real deal. It's the real McCoy. Um, you know, it starts right up front here. We've got this extremely large pass-through storage. In case you're wondering what's in that giant box right there, that is your double propane tank system. They actually ship those loose in the Winnebagos, and we install those here at the store. But that's how big this is. You can see that it, you, you could still put like a barbecue grill next to it in here and be fine. Uh, you look down here, you see nice plywood and things like that. You don't see particle board and whatnot. If you look over here real close, let me zoom in a little, might be easier to spot. There's a battery disconnect switch in there. Usually little campers don't have neat features like that. Because things like your water heater, your fridge, your air conditioner, all this stuff has circuit panels. You know, like your TV, your, your stereo. They don't turn off, they go into standby. So they still drain power, but this lets you hard disconnect all that so that the trailer's battery is there, it's full of juice, and it's ready to rock and roll when you're ready to rock and roll. That's the point here. Um, I mentioned uh, earlier, this is a narrow body, seven and a half foot wide, easy tow and little lightweight. Very, I mean, if you got an SUV with a tow package, this, this should, should, needs to be high up on your list. Um, it's only six inches more narrow than a standard RV, but that's an important six inches because you can still see around this RV uh, without necessarily needing tow extension mirrors. Though, man, I do always recommend you get them. They're never the wrong idea. Um, you want a good house? You want a strong house? You build a good foundation. We all know that, right? Why would a camper be any different? That's why I like to talk about the aircraft style chassis on these, the bell frame. It is a huck bolted aircraft style, very lightweight frame. It's made with HSLA steel, high strength, low alloy. What that means in English, thinner gauge material that is stronger. It's a very significant part of the cost of this RV. It's a more expensive chassis than I-beams. And I-beams are okay. Don't get me wrong. They get the job done. This just does it better. There's good and there's better. Such as these windows. Look at the monster size of the big bedroom cross windows right here. And notice they're all pretty aggressively tinted. That will keep your furniture from fading. It'll keep the interior of the RV cooler, give you privacy. Man, I wish the weather was better today. This, this crud weather is really bumming me out galvanized steel wheel wells for blowout protection if those if one of those radials catches a i don't know a screw or something some loose debris on the road and gives up the ghost and starts flailing around in there that just gives you an extra layer of protection i mean it's not if, if you just keep driving long term it's not going to matter but it gives you the time to be able to get this thing stopped and bring it down from highway speeds without busting up the interior of your rv because think about it if that tire blows loose and that belted radio goes nuts, it could actually damage the bottom of that slide out, not to mention the bottom of the floor to get to it. Well, that, that wheel well protection guards, one of those silver lining features, <laughs> ironically, it's silver in color, that uh, give you that extra ounce of protection. I like all of your hookups are in just this rear back corner where they belong. And a neat thing, next to your black tank flush in your outside shower here, you have separate cable and uh or, yeah park cable and satellite hookups that's not normal even in a lot of fifth wheels 
it's just an extra convenience item that they split the wiring for you to do that. Um, the uh, roof ladder, that's something I like to talk about. This has, uh, this is all aluminum, uh, aluminum, oh man, I'm, I'm talking like Scooby-Doo now, <laughs> but aluminum skeleton. The floor, the walls, the roof, everything is all aluminum skeleton. You've got a uh, 3 8 walk-on roof deck with a 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor deck. Um, we've got an 18 gallon per hour fast recharge water heater, so if you want to take back-to-back -back hot showers, you can do that. We've got an easy tilt power awning, push button operated. All our speakers and everything are under the awning, outside TV hookups under the awning, and you'll notice that we do have LED lights under the awning. You can see the reflection of them down there. Especially at night, this reflective skin will really help illuminate your patio space too. Something I forgot to talk about earlier is we also have an outside grill quick connect right up front here where it's easy to access too. And notice we've got a little camper with double steps instead of singles. It's just, you know, if, you, if you've if you had a bad knee or something, it's just easier to get in and out of this camper and that's another reason why they have the bigger handle standard here. Let's get inside out of this weather. This is just, this is depressing. It's not just snow, it's wet snow. The good news. We sell so many of these, chances are uh, the one that you're taking home is not this trailer that's been out here in the weather. You know, it, we just, th this is such a high volume popular model. Now this little floating, oh my lord, look at the camera, hold on. I, I gotta clean this off or else this is gonna drive you nuts. I should look at the camera more. That's, man, I hate this weather. Ugh, nobody likes it. How is that? Hey, we're in business. All right, let me back up now. Okay, so this little table right here that is a free-floating table. It stows behind the sofa when it's not in use. Or you could put it under the master bed if you uh, are so inclined. But this isn't always here. This gives you a place to be able to have a nice dining experience or play a couple hands of cards or use it as extra countertop prep space, you know? So uh, I always forget to talk about this. I usually leave it behind the sofa. I wanted to leave it in my face so I couldn't forget this time. Right when you walk in the door, you noticed no carpet other than the little carpet square that came with the camper so we could wipe our feet. But you notice no carpet. So if you're camping in a place that's really sandy or it's been rainy, it's kind of muddy, whatever, um, this is easy to clean. Sweep it up, you know, quick mop or Swiffer or whatever, you're done. Easy. And obviously, one of the things you need to look at in any Winnebago is this beautiful, like, off-white, creamy bone decor. It is absolutely their signature calling card. And it's not like no one's ever done a light-colored interior before. It's the fact that no one else is really doing it right now. You've got the, the skin color options, because this had a platinum skin, but there's also red, blue, champagne, uh, yellow, I don't know, white. There's other colors. Um, so that's why I mean the, the link in the video description can show you the camper we have in stock. The one you can put your hands on when you come here. I don't do bait and switch sales. This video is here to give you an idea. If you want to see what we have in stock and what we're asking, go to our website. That's all there. Or God forbid, call a living, breathing human being. Talked about those big windows outside, but it's inside where they really do their job to give you that cross breeze and lots of light. They left this side open for large CPAP machines and whatnot while giving you a bigger hanging closet over there. Easy walk around bed, easy lift storage because there's dual struts to get under it there. Now, there's another model that looks strikingly similar, the 2106 DS. That is a half Murphy bed, whereas this is a full-time fixed bed. They're the exact same floor plan, but if you want a little extra seating, you can get like a second sofa basically here that folds down to create a bed. So there's a 21 FBS fixed bed slide, then the 21 DS, I haven't figured out what the DS means, dual sofa. That's what it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. So let's start at the top. We got central air, and if you notice, it's double ducted. This little camper gets big time airflow. Very good, generous LED lighting package, so you can see in here. The light interior, plus the good windows, plus the good lighting. It's very nice and bright and airy in here. Neat thing with Winnebago is your window treatments, your bedding, everything changes with decor. So this is the... I want to say, it's not... Is it stone? Doesn't matter what it's called. Um, it's uh, cobblestone. This is the cobblestone decor. There's other decor options. There's two or three different decors to choose from. Uh, and uh, whether it's the little Winnebago or the big Winnebago, they all share the same decors. So this is how this one looks, not how everyone looks. Big jealousy style window over there. All the windows open in jealousy fashion. What that means is the window doesn't slide open and closed, it tilts open. So when you got junk weather like this outside, you can still open that window to get cross breeze. Although you're not gonna do that in the winter. More like when it's rainy out there. Um, <laughs> 
Holy cow. Look at it coming down out here. I feel like Forrest Gump. Big ol' fat snow. Anyway. So we've got our nice little sleeper sofa here. That can fold down and jackknife down into a little bed. The, the table we talked about, that can be a picnic table. It can be prep space. It can be anything you ever want it to be. I also like that they have a little armrest for the sofa. I'm an armrest guy. When I drive, I got, I got a, I, I'm, like if you sit next to me on an airplane, I will fight you for the armrest. Promise. Ooh, ooh, look at this. At the time of this filming, they recently updated and went to a little bit bigger entertainment center. I like that. DVD, Bluetooth, all the stuff. That's pretty normal. Little camper, big fridge, full-size stove with to uh, um, stove top cover, and an actual outside venting hood. Not every vent hood vents outside. Little details like that make a difference, guys. All pocket-screwed cabinetry, all hardwood cabinet door styles, hardwood slide-out fascia. You can hear the difference. Do the wedding ring test. Um, you know, we've actually got drawer space and good cupboard space and a small kitchen. Don't get me wrong. This is like, this is a kitchen for people who don't really cook in the camper. Normally it would have almost no prep space, but we've got the stovetop cover, the sink covers, and the countertop extension so that you do have an, uh, a functional amount of space here. And there are appliance outlets for you, even the nice little backsplash back here. Um, bathroom is fantastic. You know, something else I like to talk about is they fully frame all of the door jams at Winnebago so that this door jam stays square. That way you don't have to deal with, like, when you're going down the road, if the door jam doesn't stay square and you hit a pothole, that door can pop open and start smashing against the entertainment center over here. Well, you can imagine how, how quickly this, this hollow pocket door is going to bust into pieces. Now we don't have to worry about that. So there's no bad surprises when you get to your destination. Nice couple's rear bathroom with a sweet shower. And the nice radius track up here gives you that extra elbow room you really need. Skylight and power vent fan. And look at the linen cabinet space in here. This has excellent linen storage. That is something a lot of rear bathrooms lack. But Winnebago has so many years of experience in RVing. You know, this is not the first time they've built travel trailers. Winnebago knows how to build a travel trailer. They just didn't for a number of years. But I like that a lot of the motorhome touches came into their towables. Like the good framework around the doors, the higher quality materials. Like the adult size stainless steel sinks. You have to understand, in small ultralight campers, plastic sinks are what you get every day of the week. But here we got this nice stainless sink that adult hands can actually fit into. You know, they take everything a step further and above in here and their quality record absolutely backs it up these guys are getting the job done we don't have to send trailers back to the factory from winnebago they stay in your driveway they don't come back to mine and frankly that is my favorite part about them the skin color packages are neat the t60 gel coat is neat the aluminum structure is neat the white interior is neat but the fact that they perform that's what matters most and that's why i like them so give us a call Hitching, pieces, parts, financing, trades, accessories. We only do everything. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Hale at RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.